Okay. Welcome back to our show. Last but not least, we have William May. Willie May, who has just come in from cleaning some motel rooms. And to my right is Jake Ross, who will, will read his letter that he wrote to Willie May. Ah, oh, I was pretending. Um, dear Willie May, how did you know what was right? How did you know that Rob Sadness was in his legs? and that sometimes you just gotta let uh, something be, like the tire. What was your childhood like? It seems a lot like Rob's. I, a mean dad, a lot of chores. Did you have any siblings? Were your siblings like you? I wish Rob would listen to you and didn't open the cage. And the, that way the tire wouldn't have to be shot. When you told Rob sometimes you just gotta let it be, he did, he did, uh, did you ever think that he would open the cage and let it go? I think Rob shouldn't have let the tiger out, but then Sistine was putting so much pressure on him. Now that the tiger is dead, Sistine is not angry, but she's sad. After the tiger dies, Rob said, uh, said he, his, Rob hit his dad, but in the end, uh, they seemed to get along a little bit. There, if they had never let the tiger go, Rob uh, might have never opened a suitcase. These are my opinions about tiger rising. Okay, bye. <laughs> P.S. Yes, your first, the first part of your name, Willie, sounds like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Willie May, how are you going to respond to that? That's, that's, that's a positive letter, but he was asking you very many questions. Let's wait for Willie May to respond. I feel like we will now go. I love your speech. Speech. I'm going to go clean the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Willie May, thank you for joining us. Mr. Ross, thank you also. Bye -bye.